Well, we just heard from Maggie Ruley on the devastating wildfire season in Greece. And according to a new United Nations Climate Panel report out today, evidence is mounting that extreme weather events worldwide are increasingly linked to human-caused climate change. Our Stephanie Ebbs reports for ABC's Climate Unit. And Stephanie, you have been writing about this new UN report, which looks at some of the causes of global warming. What did you find? What stood out to you? Well, the, the biggest findings of this report is really the, that there is so much evidence that human-caused climate change, greenhouse gas emissions, are what has been contributing to the intense heat, the intense events related to heat, fires, drought that we have seen in the last 10 years. This is really hard evidence, scientific facts that the amount of warming we've seen is unprecedented. These events would not have happened without the influence of humans. And it's the, the language that they're using that's really, really coming out strong and saying, you know, after reviewing all of the science, we have found it is unequivocal, it is unprecedented, and, it, and it's really happening. So one of the other big highlights is, you know, this report looks at that number of 1.5 degrees Celsius, right? That's the amount of warming that was decided under the Paris Agreement that countries said, we really want to keep it below that level. Unfortunately, the report finds that we're on track to exceed that in the next few decades. So that really brings a sense of urgency to the table. And then the, the last big point is that some of the impacts of climate change can't be reversed. When you're talking about the ocean warming up, causing the glaciers to melt and the sea level rising as a result of those two things, you know, those are really a process that, that can't be stopped or turned around in the next couple of hundred years. And Stephanie, I know you also spoke to some climate experts about this report. What are they saying? You know, I think the, the overwhelming sense that I've gotten from experts and from the, the authors that we've heard is that they're very confident about these findings. The data and the science have gotten so much better in the last 10 years, and they feel really good about this process. You know, this isn't one study that's coming out with these findings. This is a process that brings together more than 230 authors from 66 countries around the world. They reviewed 14,000 studies and took it, looked at tens of thousands of comments, as well as getting the approval of all 196 member countries of this language. Stephanie Ebbs from the ABC News Climate Unit. Stephanie, thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.